Look, man, the last two videos only got a thousand likes. And you guys know over here, that is unacceptable. We almost, we, I don't think I've ever had a video do less than a thousand. Like what? What? Make sure you smash the like button down below. If this video and the resale predictions video get 1500 likes, I'll do a live cop on Thursday. I really don't want to do a live cop with this release because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would like to take a W and I really do not want to see you guys, or sorry, I don't want you guys to see me take an L and get upset because there's a lot of pieces in this collaboration that I would like to have in my personal collection. So make sure you smash the like button down below. Regardless though, I am appreciative of every single person who does support me. If you guys like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Also, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, The Star Life, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. I may or may not be, well, okay, there's no may not. I'm definitely going to be giving away a pair of sneakers soon, some dunks, which I'll show you guys in a video coming up. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys want to make sure you are up to date with that, make sure you follow me on Instagram, The Star Life. Like I said, it'll be somewhere on the screen and the description down below. But let's get to the video because this collaboration is absolutely fire. Streetwear, sneakers, and vintage clothes have always been a part of my life. Now they're helping me build a community and support those I love most. When I left the military, I started reselling vintage as a side hustle. And when both my parents were diagnosed with cancer within the same year, that side hustle became a way to give back. With this series, I'm going to show you how to turn this? clothes Enough. into cash. Oh my god. I guess I'm going to be counting tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome to Sloth and welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to discuss the collaboration between Supreme and Yoji Yamamoto. Now, for those of you guys that do not know, Yoji Yamamoto is a Japanese designer and is a designer that I've loved for many years. But uh, being the broke boy that I am, I have not been able to afford a lot of the pieces that he releases. Bars! Not to mention, I'm also vertically challenged. Therefore, it is kind of hard for me to acquire some of these pieces because I feel like a lot of these pieces, they're very drapey, very flowy, and they look better on tall individuals like my boy Fashion Archive. But this collaboration collaboration is so freaking dope and we're going to talk about some of the reasons as to why this collaboration is so special and hopefully get into some detail about some of these pieces. We're going to dive deep into the collaboration like Michael Phelps and if you did not like the video already, if you didn't crib walk all over that like button, if you learned something new at all throughout this entire video, you have to like the video. Anyways, before we get into the collaboration, of course, let me put on the spectacle so I look smart. I probably look more like the brainchild of freaking Ellen DeGeneres and Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. The first piece we have is this Supreme Yoji Yamamoto leather jacket. It looks like it has a little bit shorter of a fit in the the torso. I feel very confident in saying this piece is not going to be cheap. It's probably going to be pretty expensive. I'm not going to talk about resale in this video only because I don't know what the retails are, so it's hard for me to say. But I will touch on the pieces that I think will resale if the retail is what it normally would be throughout these collaborations. Now, the artwork on this leather jacket is done by Cheeto, aka San Cheeto, and we have seen him do artwork for Supreme in the past as well. We saw him do varsity jackets that had the Supreme Arc logo with little bones over the pockets and a big bulldog on the back. We've seen him do Gore-Texes and one of my favorite pieces. He did the smile tee. I believe all those were done in 2018. I kept actually two different colors of that smile tee. I kept it in white and black. Sadly, I have no more for the resale page, Robotus and Poppy. I sold all of them. I did have probably like 10 of those t-shirts that I sold on Robotus and Poppy. If you guys don't follow Robotus and Poppy, change your life, follow that page. I don't know if he did the spell out, but I'll talk more about that graphic because you'll see that Supreme Yoji Yamamoto branding throughout this entire collection for the most part. Now, next up we got this suit and this suit actually has some artwork from Peter Seville. Now, for those of you guys that do not know who Peter Seville is, this is really interesting. And like I said, if you learn anything in this video, you have to like the video. Peter Seville actually is known for doing a lot of different art for different records. For example, Unknown Pleasures by Joy Division. This graphic has been used by so many different brands. In the vintage community, some of these old vintage tees that have this artwork on it usually go for a good amount of money, but this artwork has been used by Raph Simmons. More recently, it was used by Pleasures, and they even did a chair that had this graphic printed throughout the entire chair, which I thought was pretty dope. And to tie this back into Supreme, Peter Seville is known for doing the artwork for New Order known as Power Corruption Lies. Now, the original painting was a basket of roses from Henry. I'm not even going to try to say his last name because I know you guys will go in on me. But Peter Seville actually added this little decoder to the top right and he's known for creating this record or putting this together for their album art. And this was actually used by Supreme on a collection several years ago where they did a hoodie. They did some vans as well. This hoodie and these vans are both pretty monumental pieces for Supreme and they're both known as pieces that go for a decent amount of resale. These are pretty popular pieces and they were really popular even when they released. It was actually pretty hard to 
get your hands on some of these pieces. But that's not the only time the Supreme referenced Peter Seville. I believe in 2005, they did a pocket tee that had this little decoder on the back and it was called the Blue Monday tee. And the reason it was called that was because that decoder that's used in the top right of that Power Corruption Lies record is also used on two singles, one of them being Blue Monday. And on top of that, this is not the first time that Peter Seville has done something with Yoji Yamamoto because this artwork that is used throughout this collection was used, I believe, in the autumn winter, like 91, 92. Like I said, if you learn something new, smash that like button. Anyways, we got this suit and I believe this suit's gonna come as a collection. That's what they did with the CDG suit that they dropped several years ago, like the eyeball suit. And that was like a thousand dollars. This suit, it looks like it has somewhat of an elastic waistband. It looks like it's a dope ass suit. But that being said, if it's a thousand dollars, I'm gonna have to pass. To be honest with this leather jacket and this suit, they're both gonna be a little bit out of my price point. Broke boys, stand up. And if you're short like me, you probably can't even tell that you're standing up because you two are vertically challenged. So you know what I'm saying? I guess jump up and down so I can see that you're standing up. Now, speaking of my vertically challenged compadres, we have this trench coat. Because I'm short, uh, I cannot get trench coats. I look stupid in them. There's a lot of trench coats that I've had in my personal collection that I've sold and I regret. Once again, this artwork is done by Sanchito. Super dope to see them do more artwork together. I wish he would have actually modeled this campaign. I'm really excited to see them continue to work with Sanchito. Like I said, Sanchito has done work with Supreme in the past, but he's even modeled for Supreme. I believe he was one of the models during the Jean-Paul Gaultier collaboration. Sanchito is a Seattle graffiti artist, so it's dope to see someone local, and that's one of the reasons why I like those pieces and why I've kept some of those pieces in my personal collection. I do like this artwork. Of course, you have the Supreme Yoji Yamamoto branding on the back, but that being said, I will have to pass because this is going to be expensive, and not only am I a broke boy, but I'm also a short boy. I mean, I'm not super short, but you know, I'm five, seven, and three quarters, and like I tell you guys, that three quarters matters. Without that fraction right there, Harry Potter would have never made it to Hogwarts, and that's facts. Next up, we have one of my favorite Favorite pieces dropping this rose knitted sweater and I want this piece so bad It's so freaking beautiful You have that blue spell out on the front with that ever so delicious rose knitted into the sweater I'm kind of curious if this print is going to be similar to the CDG supreme sweater Which I already have but you guys know I love those retirement home flex pieces those pieces that look stylish now But they're also gonna look stylish when I'm 70 70 nigga oh. when I stroll into the retirement home and your grandma's popping her puse on me This is going to be a fire piece to have for many years to come. So I'm hoping I get my hands on this. I don't know about resale. If resale is anything like those CDG sweaters, it will be good, but it does depend on the retails. And since we do not have the retails yet, I do not feel comfortable giving you guys some resale advice. That being said, hopefully I can get this for my personal collection, but it's gonna be hard because there's a lot of pieces from this collection that I'd like to get my hands on. So we will see what happens when Thursday comes. Well, you guys will see what happens if you guys smash that like button. Now we have two button downs, which come in white and black. Once again, we have artwork from Peter Seville. Like I said, this artwork is not new for this collection. I'm not quite sure if the pieces if you guys find any links to that if you guys have any more information on that i would love to learn me some things expand my mind and of course you guys can let me know in the comments down below next up we have these puffer jackets and i cannot wear these because if i wear this white one i'm gonna look like the fucking michelin man my tire changes <laughs> And on top of that, once again, like I said, I am vertically challenged. So if I add too much width, I'm gonna be walking down the street looking like a Supreme Yoji Yamamoto or Rubik's Cube. I'm gonna be wider than I am taller and I can just not walk down the street looking like a fucking rectangle that fell over. I love puffer coats. I'm from Washington where it's literally raining 366 days a year. I know that does not add up, but just trust me, it rains all the freaking time. So I love outerwear, but that being said, I've had to just admit that I will never be tall enough to wear puffer coats. You do have that branding on the back and I am really curious who did that Supreme spell out. I wonder if that was Sanchito. I'm not quite sure because it does not say artwork done by Sanchito like it does on all the other pieces that do have his artwork. Like for example, this hoodie, which comes in three colors, the olive and black and the white and black color. Oh my God, these are nuts. Even that crazy color is kind of hard, but my favorite has got to be that olive because that red just pops. Dude, this artwork, oh my God, Sanchito went crazy. I need this hoodie. These are pieces that like I might actually have to pay resale for and I don't like paying. I don't know why I'm whispering. These are so fun. And hard. I really hope I can get my hands on these and I really hope these retails are not Yoji Yamamoto retails. Oftentimes when they do these collaborations, they do come down on the retails a little bit, especially with some of these more essential pieces like the hoodies and the tees. These things are so fucking beautiful. This collaboration has got to be one of my favorite collaborations that Supreme has ever done. Moving on, you got these crew necks. Now these crew necks just have the simple branding on the front, the chesticles in between the titties, connecting dots from nipple to nipple. Once again, I can't say the resale because I don't know what the retail is. This could be $400 and I don't want to tell you this is for sure going to resale and then have have the retail come out and be some ridiculous number. I don't think it will be. I think these will probably be like 158, maybe $168. And boys, you know what time it is. It is t-shirt time. T-shirt time. <laughs> it's t-shirt time. Everybody knows it's t-shirt time. This is basically like a 
and tea wheat. Resellers rejoice. There's a lot of teas, and if these teas are anything like past high-end designer collaborations, it's gonna be probably 54, maybe 60 something dollars. They could be 68 buckarooskies, who knows, but they'll be right around there. Now the artwork is done by Yuki Asakura, or Yuka Asakura. Yuka, I, I don't know how to say it. I wish my boy Reggie Casual was here to help me out. This individual has an artwork for Yoji Yamamoto in the past. In fact, recently he did artwork for his dog, and if you look at this first t-shirt, this is actually Yoji Yamamoto and his dog. My boy Yoji is not only a mama's boy like myself, but he's an animal lover like myself too. I feel like I got a connection going on with Yoji. Anyways, I do think this t-shirt is dope and do keep in mind when I said that dude's name No, I'm not saying Asa Akira. I'm not talking about the porn star I just wanted to specify because I just wanted to be careful I didn't want to like maybe give you guys a little semi chub We are getting another tee with his dog featured on it. It's called the wolf tee We have seen Yoji Yamamoto release some tees that have his dog However, this one has a straight side profile the artwork once again is done by Yuka Asakura I apologize if I'm butchering that name the other ones don't look quite to be as much of like a fuck mugshot. This looks like his dog has an alcoholism problem and got a DUI and just got like a mugshot. But overall, I do think these t-shirts are dope. We are seeing both of those Peter Seville graphics printed on some t-shirts and they didn't mess up on any of these. Of course, they put the little box logo ever so subtly throughout these entire t-shirts for all the hype beasts out there. I think the t-shirts are sick. And to finish off the t-shirts, we have the Supreme Yoji Yamamoto t-shirt, which has the big Supreme spell out in red. I think these t-shirts are sick. I do wish they came in more colors, but usually with these releases just like with the Jean-Paul Gaultier collaboration they come in a white and a black so you get what you get of course I'm going for that black color I do think that's going to be the better color but both of these colors will do fairly well and if you are in the premium discord these are some of the pieces I would recommend running slots for if the retail is what I think it will be which will be anywhere from 54 to 68 dollars I would be very very surprised if it's less than 54 I don't think it will be but that's what I think the retail will be and speaking of that graphic we also have that embroider on a beanie as well now for my own personal wants and needs and desires I'm hoping I can get the beanie every single t-shirt the hoodie for my personal and the knitted sweater If I could get all of that, I would be a happy camper But most importantly, what are you guys going for? Let me know down in the comments below Of course, thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart If you didn't smash the like button, change your life, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications Follow me on Instagram, the star, the H-E-S-A-R-L-I-F-E I don't even know how I'm talking so fast But anyways, please make sure you do all those things Because I just said it like a million miles per minute But like I said, I appreciate you watching from the top and bottom of my heart As always, give the star life and peace the fuck out